Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I've got the Jackson Bell 556 back out. I never finished the cabinet. The electrical restoration's complete. It's the one I had to uh, rewind the power transformer. Anyway, I've got this piece of uh, fluted molding in the uh, center section that's missing. I've looked at some other photos online. I'll flip those up for a second. And uh, I'm going to uh, somewhat emulate the original design. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to take a, a much simpler approach. I'm just using some uh, 3 16 inch dowels. And I'm going to uh, glue those down to a piece of uh, scrap veneer. And then do some filing on the edges here to uh, round those off. Place it back on and, of course, do some uh, staining and or uh, toner lacquers to somewhat match the existing finish here on the cabinet. The width I need is right at uh, three-fourths of an inch and about seven and what three-fourths of an inch in uh, length across. I've got the dowels glued down to the uh, substrate. Again, just a piece of donor veneer, real super thin. I'll come back and trim around it, and I'm going to do some uh, additional gluing here in just a second. We'll see how this thing looks after it dries, and I do some sanding. I think it will work out. It's not going to be a perfect match, but uh, close enough, and I think most folks wouldn't even recognize the uh, change in the piece. Time will tell. Again, let me let the uh, glue set up. And after a little sanding by hand to get the uh, corner and shapes the way I want it, I think that's going to uh, suffice to stay a dry fit laying there. You can turn it over and you can see the uh, beveled edges here. Maybe a little tweaking here on this left side. But I think that'll work. And looking down the outside edges, I think I got what I was looking for. The cabinet itself on the Jackson Bell looks to be more mahogany based uh, as far as the toner lacquer and or stain that was used. So what I did to uh, match this piece close to uh, spray this with a dye based mahogany and then I hit it with some perfect brown dye based as well. And again, I'll go back and try to blend this stuff together with a dye based toner just to clean it up just a bit. It's not going to take much. You can see the uh, match is pretty close. So uh, that concludes the uh, new center trim piece there with the uh, fluted pieces. I think it turned out pretty well. I also produced uh, four brand new knobs for this receiver as well. I just had one left behind. I'll show you those four. So I created a silicone mold and uh, cast four matching knobs. 